this master class. There are many people who are doing different things. Eh? So it's a matter of us also exchanging what? Business cards. Make sure that we are giving each other businesses. Make sure that we are also building businesses. Eh? So the thing is, we're talking about entrepreneurship. We're talking about the opportunities which are here in Zimbabwe. Unfortunately, Zimbabwe is a country now in a lot of problems. Hence, everyone is forced to do to be to be called to be so-called an entrepreneur. Everyone is a vendor somewhere, somewhere. I am a vendor personally. I come from a vending background. I know what it takes to get into the street, being beaten by police. All the problems these vendors are experiencing, I know them. Because I was once one of them, and I, I believe that I'm still one of them. But the thing is, what I want to say now, for you to start a business, it's starting everyone can start. And do you know that? Everyone can be an entrepreneur. And an entrepreneur can also be an employee or an employer. It doesn't necessarily mean if, an, if you found something, if you start something, it makes you a good entrepreneur. Something they can just start an organization. Like here, I started MNJ, but I've got good young people who can come up with ideas. Can't you call those people entrepreneurs? For example, we, we never used to do any software, like we used to do uh, the likes of taxation, bookkeeping, ETC. We never used to do uh, ERP software. But ERP software, I mean that it's a software which can do everything. It can do accounting, it can do procurement, it can do CRM, ETC. So that's a CRM. But one individual just came and said, I think I, I have seen a software. I think we can start offering this software to entrepreneurs, to small companies in Zimbabwe, even to large companies. Can't you call that young man an entrepreneur? Because it's an opportunity and there's also a risk involved. But he's not a founder of an organization. The problem with Zimbabwe is everyone wants to start something. People believe that, I know, I think in Rukushanda Pagati, at least if I start mine, I'm going to make more money. But what we don't know is that being an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, a real entrepreneur, is very hard. You're going to make a lot of sacrifices. How many have been in business for more than 10 years? Yeah. We don't have hard Some of the people, what I've also noticed, why there is a trungot? If you notice Mona Runs in Bingham, Bingham Street, huh? those are those to me, those people are not business, are not business people. They are not entrepreneurs. Because an entrepreneur is supposed to make profit even after 10 years. To start enjoying, especially is the founder. Your employees can enjoy, they can get their salaries, they can get their motor vehicle benefits, they can get everything. But you as the founder, if you are waiting for the dividend. It means you're going to wait for, for a long period of time.